Matt, what made you want to start playing guitar? Oh, uh, well, I really wanted to play drums, but my mom wasn't having that, so guitar was the second best option. How, how old were you? Uh, 15. And did you play them in, in school, I guess? Play the, uh, the, do they have the guitar and band? And, and... No, you know, I went to St. Martinville, and, uh, you know, they don't, uh, they don't have any sort of guitar lessons there, so it was just learn on my own, you know, kind of pick it up. So did, did your mom buy you a guitar, or did you have to save up for it? Well, my brother had a guitar that my grandfather gave him when he was young, and he never played it, so kind of just had it there. Cool. So. You remember what kind? Uh, it really didn't have a name on it. Man, I couldn't tell you. Everybody, everybody says that. It was, it was yeah, like it's just kind of old, that brand. <laughs> nameless brand. Yeah. What color? Uh, kind of like this, just a natural finish. Well, it, it, it's black and white, so I'm, I'm going to interchange some photos in there in the middle. But um, how many guitars have you owned? Oh, man. I lost track. It's probably probably got about twelve or so, you know, a bunch of electrics. I got uh, four acoustics. Um, got just got a pedal steel guitar, which is pretty awesome. I'm trying to learn that thing, so keep adding on to the collection, man. You know, it's one of those things. Cool. And you are from Saint Martinville. Saint Martin, yes, sir. Tell tell me this. When did when did you realize? Or I guess what age was it, whatever you decided? Well, did writing come first before you mastered a little bit of the guitar? Or, or? Well, you know, in high school, I had a little band with all my friends. You know, we just jammed together playing Metallica. And, you know, we're big into Metallica. But, you know, we write our own little songs. And, I mean, there were probably songs I'd be too embarrassed to even let you hear nowadays. But so that came first. You know, it was just kind of experimental in high school. And then, you know, when I turned 18, I joined a Zodico band. Mm -hmm and started playing that kind of music and kind of didn't write, really write much, you know, I was trying to really just learn the guitar and that's when I really got into singing at about that age, 18, so it was more about just kind of learning my chops and learning how to sing, so I didn't really write much until, I, you know, about 25 years old, I started writing a little bit more and the past two years it's been kind of, you know, more about the songwriting than anything else, so. So you, you like pretty much every kind of music. I mean, you've... Yeah, I like it all, man. Um, you know, I'm a huge, huge into old country and blues and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And not into the new music too much. But, um, you know, I like, I like a little bit of everything. Cool. Well, man, um, you, currently, you currently have a CD. Oh, uh, well, me and Dan do, yeah. The Frazzling okay. Derelicts, um... That's our first CD we put out. The, the Frazzling Derelicts. Frazzling Derelicts. That's our band name, yes. Let me get Dan in here right quick. Dan, get in here! I can't do this alone! Here comes Dan. Here comes Dan. Here comes Dan. Dan, how you doing? Doing excellent. Dan, how, where are you from? Hi, Alaska, Louisiana. And how, first time we actually meet here. We, we like to stay separated. Where, where, how did y'all meet? I gotta know this. Uh, we were in a variety band, uh, Rhythm and Booze. <laughs> they were looking for a bass player, and so I answered an ad. And so we did that for a couple of years, and uh, ended up being roommates. Yeah. And now you just know each other very well and play together. Yeah, man, we've been playing together for a while, and you know, we were we're roommates, I mean, we always jam, you know, we have late night jam sessions. It's really how technology was written, you know, because I just got into ukulele and, um, you know, I was like, ah, oh, I gotta try to learn this thing. So Dan would, I think he probably came up with the chords. And I was just like, and it just turned into that. And we jammed that all the time when I was playing the ukulele. And then months, took, months later, I finally wrote lyrics to the song. So it, it was actually born. In the, in the house of Dan and Matt <laughs> for, for, for a short while and then wrote it months later. So is That where that house is in Lafayette? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what. I, you have your guitar, right? I sure do. I want to hear y'all play the, the tech, the, one of the songs together, Technology or whichever one it is. All right, we do Technology. Let's rock it out, man. <laughs> 
Tell you one thing about y'all, man. Y'all seem to be pretty laid back. Uh, every time I've ever I, I've, I've seen you play, very laid back show, uh, having fun, trying to have, you know, trying That's to. What it's all about. And, you, you know, we've been doing, you know, we have a full band, but, well, let's say full band, it's really a three-piece, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we get to play electric sometimes and rock out, but we've been doing a lot of acoustic shows lately, and those have been really cool, you know what I mean? It's like, you can really strip it down and really get into the song itself, you know, so we've been really enjoying doing acoustic gigs, so. Well, you, you seem, the way, I mean, from the songs that I've heard you write, or play, that you've written, you seem to like music with meaning. I guess you can say that. Yeah. yeah. Um, cause it's got to mean something, you know. I wish I wish I could go, I could go back and show the visualization of that crowd that night whenever they they just stopped and had to listen to that song. Um, you know, cause I think it's the lick. It kind of sucks you in, huh? <laughs> That's the play, right? Well, here here we go.
That's technology. We love it. And we're back with Matt. We're back. And Dan. That was a good song, guys. Thank you. Thanks, man. Tell us about the first song you wrote, Matt. <laughs> Didn't we just say we're not going to talk about our first song? <laughs> uh, I think it was called a uh, broken record song. Um, just a typical country, you know, because I was really heavy into classic country, so it kind of had to... Uh, classic country sound in like an old Merle Haggard song or something like that. Uh-huh. Now you do know that that would probably be a hit today. Because uh, everybody wants that. From what I see online in Acadiana, <laughs> apparently they, they're, they're looking for that. Really? In our local, yeah, c- like, country you scene. Up? How long has it been since you played that song? Shucks. Uh, probably 10, 12 years. You think you could do it? I don't. I don't remember the words. Seriously. Really? It's been that long. I just remember broken record song. You can do it. Just broken not, record song. Uh, Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. I really can't even name it. If I could, I would. I'm not being. No, I know. I know. I know. It. It's. It's one of those songs you didn't think were gonna come back to haunt you. The second song I wrote is uh, not suitable for work. So uh, you cannot listen to it. <laughs> was it that bad? No, I think it was just a goofy, goofy song with a bunch of uh, curse words in it. So. Oh. What was I cursing? Um, I don't remember. So this is pretty much your whole show. You go, you guys go back and forth. Pretty much, we try to, we try to. There's a lot more booze involved than here. And then you, and then a lot more yeah, laughing, and yet, so. and then he, 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 he's pretty good at. So what happens next? <laughs> That's the question. What does happen next? <laughs> Dave, well, what's your first song? I don't know. I threw, I threw away all the cassettes. I got yeah. the, yeah. the purge on a yearly basis. That's the thing. I have no <laughs> records. I used to have a CD with like, like the band I played with in high school. We used to record ourselves on some crappy little recorder. But I lost it, which is stupid, you know. It's like you should have, like, oh, this is the first thing I ever made, but I lost it. Hey, let me ask you that. Since you wrote, you, since there is a song called Technology, and uh, how, how old are you, Matt? I'm 29. Okay, how, how old are you, Dan? 30. Okay. The first time you ever got a gig, was it in Acadiana? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, my first gig was actually... Um, at Main Street in Brobridge. Okay. And uh, it was with my rock band in high school. And uh, so, I mean, that was, you know, the, the, when I was probably like 16, 17. Okay. How did you get that gig? Oh, <laughs> uh, you just... Technology. There, well, technology... You just asked Mr. Rick, hey, can we play? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, we just showed up. On so, the it was show. that easy. <laughs> yeah. They didn't want to hear you play at all? I mean, he didn't pay. We got like five... Okay. Uh, we each got five bucks when we went to Arby's after. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, we're like five bucks. Okay. Well, I. <laughs> wow. So, we get almost got seven now. Seven, yeah, we're up okay. to seven now. <laughs> we're hoping for eight bucks an hour. Yo, yo, a trip. So. <laughs> that's, of dollars a year, that's what we make. Well, a <laughs> hundred air. I'm a hundred air, yes. A hundred yeah. air. Um, so, basically. Let me ask y'all this. What, what is your favorite song to play together other than technology? Man, we just... Uh, it, changes, you know? it changes, you know, every gig's different. I mean, we like to, you know, we do a lot of covers by the drive-by truckers and, uh, you know, Lucero, a bunch of these sort of um, alternative country bands that we look up to. So, you know, there's a bunch of songs that they play that we really enjoy to play, you know, live, um, especially Wilco. drive-by truckers. Wilco. I want I want you to play one of those songs, like I guess the cover, because somebody I know you I know you play at Dewey's Lounge in Youngsville. Uh, where else are some of the places y'all play? Well, currently, like I said before, you know, um, you know, we play at uh, New Orleans Original Daiquiris there on the corner of uh, Ambassador and Johnson. Um, Wild Salmon, <clears throat> we played there recently. We had a full band gig there. Um, we've done our show, acoustic show at Dewey's, and um, and like I said, we're geared up for our little tour that we're going up to Seattle and Colorado and all that. So we're going to be doing acoustic shows there. But right now we're just kind of trying to get the tour booked and 
Um, hopefully get back in the wild sim and this really cool place to play. Well, I can tell you this. I, I don't know if I don't know if y'all are going through a city called Durango. But if you do, there's one pizza place that you, you there's only one pizza place, okay, we and it's like yeah, we, we're okay. actually gonna be there. That's one of the stops. Okay, so. that place is cool. So what's the name of the place? I can't remember right offhand, but it's really cool. Pizza, all right. And quite a few people this have exciting. played there. I'm looking forward to the tour now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Purgatory Mountains right across the street, like a mile up the street from this place. It's probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life, other than Acadiana. Other than Acadia, <laughs> so Acadia, right? no, no, I mean not at all. But I will say you will have a blast at that place because they, awesome. yeah, they're gonna they, they, they're a trip. I have a blast at most pizza places. So. <laughs> well, it's not it, you know. <laughs> there's there's one bar, there's like six tables, and there's one pool table. That's it. But right. there's a bunch of money on the wall for some reason. So there's pizza. Uh, yes, and beer. Gonna, you said you got another original that's, that's on the front of your CD. Yeah, there's the inspiration for our album cover. And of course our album is And God Bless the USA is the name of the album. Dot, 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 And God Bless the USA. Gotta have the dots. Gotta be there. So. But uh, yeah, so the name of the song is Peggy Gave Me My Cigarettes. And um, Peggy's on the cover, so she's our gal. You know, so it's kind of a goofy, uh, goofy song, but... A little crazy, but it kind of describes our our style. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and do your thing. Kick into it right here. Super 
Peggy. And the old man, may he rest in peace. True story or no? No, no just a made up uh, story. <laughs> <laughs> I make up a lot of stories. You know, technology is probably one of the only like non stories. So, of course, it's kind of a story, but. I like to write uh, crazy stories. Yeah, I have a strong feeling that there's going to be a Super Bowl song <laughs> in the next year. <laughs> I, I, it might not be about football, but... Uh, no, <laughs> uh, especially going through Colorado. I mean, it's, <laughs> this is going to happen. I got a feeling about this. Uh, At the pizza place. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I almost wish I could go. At this point, <laughs> no, hey, we might uh, rent a tour bus. I mean, get, a bunch of people to come with. get in the get van. van. Get in the get van. In the van. You, you get in here. <laughs> that is great. We're just gonna shove you in. We there. got candy in there. Come on, candy and fireworks and cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> and Boone's Farm. And Boone's Farm. Plenty of Boone's Farm. Plenty it's of Boone's Farm for you kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know you like it sweet. Yeah. Strawberry Hill. <laughs> Strawberry Hill. Uh, out on Strawberry Hill. I promise we're not psychos. That's another, hey, we got another song right now. St- out on Strawberry Hill. <laughs> <laughs> that's I where think. you found your thrill? <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. You guys, you guys are fun, man. Yeah, yeah, but this is, this is pretty much your show. This is what y'all do. Yeah, y'all just, get a, just have fun and laugh. Just have fun and that's what it's all about, man. I think it's kind of, uh, you know, maybe a little, you know, important to kind of, you know, talk about the difference between, you know, a you know, straight, you know, Matt Castile show and a Frazzlin Derelict show. You big know, difference. Big difference, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. And so, I mean, the idea with us is, uh, you know, we're, we're really doing it to have fun, and that, that's our only goal, you know. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we, what I do know, is for fun, too, but it's also to pay the bills. So it's, right. You know, it's, I guess, I hate to say it's more like my job, and this is more like my fun, you know, my creative outlet, so. Well, I, I understand completely what y'all mean, because, like, you know, people are always, like, with the photos, and but I take all these photos, and I'm like, sometimes I just, you know, don't feel like it is a job. Mm-hmm. I, it's more fun than anything. I mean, and, yeah. and, and I guess if you can have as much fun doing something like that, it, it's whenever crazy comes to town, it usually <laughs> it starts becoming no more fun. I hear that, yeah. Um, I that. You know, that's why, like, y'all don't have the option of, of uh, just going, you know what, I think I don't, well, maybe you do. I don't want to play here tonight. <laughs> but <Well>, uh, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yeah, but no, I mean, I, I wish y'all all the all best of luck, man. I we appreciate it. Thanks, I know man. one thing. I know, I know y'all are going to have a lot of fun on the road. We're sure going to try. That's going to be a blast. Tell you what, what are y'all taking? Are you taking a, a white van? Um, yeah, we hope so. White yeah. van? That'd, or? that'd be ideal. Maybe a school else. bus if we get a school bus. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, or is this a serious thing? Or? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. that'd> be <laughs> <serious>. <laughs> we want a school bus. <laughs> Because I mean, hey, after, if after Mardi Gras they have a, they have people with school buses, they you know yeah. they paint them purple, and this is the place Everybody to find else. something like that. Yeah. But. All right. Well, if anybody has a school bus out there, be sure, give us a call. <laughs> Preferably green. Preferably that's, uh, green. That's what sort of our band's color. Our album is all green, so the website's mostly green. So a green band would yeah probably do us a lot of good. A green van down by the river. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> well, guys, on the way out, you're going to kill me for saying this. <laughs> well, how about some Metallica? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, right here. All right, uh, what, you, what do you want to hear? Your favorite? I know the intro is to... Yeah, probably the first the song that you played on stage. Let's, let's, oh. let's see. Well, the first song I learned. Well, of course, everybody learns the... Uh, I was like nine, and I played it for like, hey, I can play guitar. But 
anyway, so, and then, you know, of course it was... Something like that. I've, <laughs> I've been playing this a lot. I feel like the guy in the music store that's like... I'm as free as a bird now And those birds you can change Stairway to Free Bird, if you haven't heard that one I'm going on now Stairway to Free Bird, you know, you kill two birds and one stone right there Now, we're going to play a game and that game is, the people behind me are going to scream out a song, and we're going to see, we're going to see, scream out two songs, and we're going to see if Matt Hundreds can. Hundreds of people out there. They're going to flip them out. Woman and House of the Rising Sun. Oh, nice. She's a honk, it's all one. <laughs> I met a gentle bar queen in Memphis. She had to take me upstairs for a <laughs> she had to meet me across her shoulder Cause I just can't take you off my mind She's a long-time woman Give me a long-time mood And we're back. We're back. We're gonna play a game where we scream out two more songs, and Let's Matt. Turn into a game show. It's a, it's, 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 it was well, it's, it's to find out, you know, how much fun this actually is. So the people behind me are gonna scream. I kissed a girl in heart shaped box. I kissed a girl in heart shaped box. Oh, gosh, dog. I used to know. What's another song? 